As you guys already know, these past couple months, I've been working with the graphic designer to rebrand my channel. And the graphic designer legit just sent me the four emotes I'm going to be using for memberships. And guys, I'm telling you, they are absolutely amazing. I am blown away by his work, but they are hilarious too. There are some awesome emotes that you guys are definitely going to like. So I just want to hype you guys up a little bit for when memberships come out. But yeah, the emotes are here and they are absolutely amazing. Just want to spread some news for you guys. But we're back. Hopping on to that ranked double ladder for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. But today, we're using a little bit of off meta squad. We got ourselves Halucha, Armrouge, and Sandy Shocks team. That also features Palafin and Shen Pao. Hopefully, get the rock out with it and grab some wins for you guys. But we got Halucha as our first Pokemon. Halucha is one of those little off meta Pokemon. It's pretty strong on the rank ladder, but at the same time, it's not the best. It has Unburdened and the Psychic Seeds, Rock and Flying Press, Acrobatic, Sword Dance, and Detect. Paired up with Ndidi, the Psychic Seeds can get boosted, Unburdened ability can pop, giving Halucha a nice little speed boost, and then from there, you can really get on with them. So, again, Halucha is one of those Pokemon that can be very, very scary. Indeed, he's going to be your second Pokemon, really good for support, really good for pairing up with Halucha, with Psychic Surge and the Safety Goggles, Rock and Follow Me, Psychic, Heal, Pulse, and Protect. We got Armrouge in our third slot, another reason why Indeed is going to be great for this team. Pairing it up with Armrouge, like you guys seen in Series 2, this combo was insanely strong. It has Flash Fire, it has a Life Orb as item, Rocket Armor Cannon, Expanding Force, Wide Guard to protect your team from double hitting moves, and protect for its fourth and final. We got Palafin in our fourth slot. Everybody knows Palafin's a dog. It's an absolute beast in ranked doubles. It is so good. And probably ranked singles is pretty good. But anytime you can get swap out Palafin and get into its hero form, it's going to do some work. This one has the Eject Pack as item, Rock and Wave Crash, Jet Punch, Close Combat, and Protect. And you know what? The Eject Pack sounds really good for Palafin. I haven't used it before, but we can go in the Palafin, use Close Combat, get off some damage, and that will force us to swap because our stats are going to drop pop in the eject pack and then palafin swap so i think that's a really cool combo right there we got sandy shocks in our fifth slot and sandy shocks is a high special attacker hits really really hard so getting it out there in certain situations could really help us out it's got protosynthesis the booster energy thunderbolt earth power both for stab and we got terror blast and protect final pokemon on today's team is going to be our legends of ruins pokemon it is going to be shen pao swords of ruin focus sash has his item throat chop ice spinner haze and protect Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rental code is at the top right-hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to grab some wins with this Ndidi, Armrouge, and Halucha Series 3 team. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against Annihilate. That should be a problem. Luckily, there is no mouse hold there, but still, Annihilate by himself is a problem. They also have Corviknight, who seems to be a problem for me in Series 3. I've been losing to a lot of Corviknights. Hopefully, we can change that around in this battle. They also got Murkrow, uh, Fluttermane, Garchomp, and Chiyu. So, Chiyu, Fluttermane combo is... It's there. It is there. We definitely have to watch out for that. But who should I lead and how should I go into this? We could go into Cat and Falcon. I absolutely love that name. I love all these names. These are all sick names. I'm all about all these names. <laughs> those are sick. They're all based on like, uh, what's it called? Characters. Uh, Smash Bros. characters. So I really do like that. I really do like that. But who do I think they're going to lead? Chiyu Fluttermane is definitely an option. They got Murkrow or Corviknight could definitely be a lead here as well. I kind of like Indeedee Armors, right? I don't think that's terrible. I don't think that's terrible. None of them can pop Trick Room, which is a problem. A slight issue for us, unless you got Trick Room. You do not. Yeah, I didn't think you did. I did not think. Or I can go, say, Palafin and maybe, like, Shen Pao. Try to get off a close combat. That could be pretty good for us. I'm going to go with that. I'm going to rock out with that. We're going to go in with these two. And then in the back end, I'm going to bring Sandy Shocks and Armors. Where do I bring in... Cat and Falcon over here. No, we're going to go Armourish here. Armourish is definitely in play. So, we're going to go in with the bottom half. No Indeedee. No Halucha. I think we're cool with this. I think we're definitely cool with this. So, let's see who our opponent's going to lead. Because, again, this one seems like it's going to be tough. Annihilate and Corviknight have been, like, they've been my kryptonite in Series 3. They've really been ripping into me. Been having problems with them whenever. So, but, again, we're recording. So, hopefully, I got you guys. Hopefully, I got you guys. Match number one victories are always ideal. We always like to grab them. But they're going to lead Annihilate and Chomsky, which, uh, hmm. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Um, I think I'm going to close combat the Garchomp. He might protect. But still, I'm going to close combat the Garchomp. And I could throw Chomp you down. I could just protect you because he could protect the Chomp. He's either going to protect the Chomp or Terrasalize it and go after my Shen Pao. But Shen Pao will have... The Focus Ash, which I kind of want to just have for him, right? No, I'm going to protect it. I'm going to protect Shen Pao, because I think he's going to protect the Chomp, so... 
We'll see. So we end up protecting the Shen Pao. He's probably protecting the, the Guard Chomp here as well. No, you go for a Drain Punch into that. And you're going to keep Chomp here. Do you outspeed Palafin? That would be a beautiful, beautiful thing. You do not, but he goes for Rock Slide. I block it with Shen Pao. Palafin's going to be able to soak. Unless it flinches, this is a solid turn from us. Do not flinch. Do not flinch, Pally. Pally, I needed you. I needed you there. Oh, my lord, Pally. I needed you, Pally. Um, okay. Hmm. Now what's my play? We got a problem on our hands. Um. I might just swap you then. Into a Pokemon like Sandy Shocks. Or Armors. Hmm. So we go Armors. And now we're just gonna Ice Spin into the Garchomp slot. Are you kidding me? You really? You really did me dirty like that, Pally? I had a nice little play going. We could have did some damage there and then swapped out, but it's okay. You flinched. It happens. It happens. He now Tarasalized the Garchomp. So smart play on his end. We bit for the Ice Spinner here. Unless it's Annihilate. Nope, it's Chomp. And we're going to the ground. Straight Steel. It's a solid type. So he's going to Drain Punch down my Annihilate slot. I mean, we have Expanded Force, which is really, really good for us. And I might have to Tarasalize my, uh... My, what's it called? Might terrestrialize my armors. Ruffskin's gonna come out here, chip up damage, and take off my focus dash. That hurts. Stream punch gonna KO me now. We're dead. We're gone of that. We're gone of that. Stupid Ruffskin. Really doing me dirty. No rock slides allowed. You do go for a rock slide. That's not gonna take me out, but still. Ooh. The damage is powerful. That's some wicked damage. But from here, I could go into just straight Sandy Shocks, which I kind of like the best. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into Sandy Shocks here. I am going to Earth Power down the, uh, the Garchomp, get rid of that, and then hopefully Armors can get off a shot here, because that could be big time for us. Do I Terrasalize Armors? I don't think I do. I'm trying to think of what moves he could possibly go for. Rage Fish, Strain Punch. We're just going to do this. No Terrasalize, not just yet. And we'll see how they want to play us. We'll see. Because I'm kind of hoping we can land this expanding force. Because honestly, this turn can really determine the outcome of the battle. So we'll see. We shall see. I still have Palafin in the back end, which I really, really like. Everybody loves good old Palafin. And I still have Terra, too. I can always stress Palafin because I believe he is water. But he ends up withdrawing the guard shot. Don't go into a Murkrow. Do not go into a flying type. You son of a biscuit. All right, looks like you're getting Thunderbolted next turn. Earth Power's gonna fly here. Let's see what Annihilate goes for. I'm gonna go for a Drain Punch into you, which you soak. I, I don't mind that, because Expanded Force can come out here and get some big time damage off of you. So Expanded Force out and about. Bill taking it out. Don't mind that. So now he can Tailwind, which is a little bit of an issue. Right, Tailwind's gonna be a little bit of an issue. Tailwind is going to be a little bit of an issue. But I can always come in with Palafin, which could be good. So Garchomp probably comes back out here, correct? Yeah, and now he's going to do Tailwind and probably EQ. So from here, I think I just go into a Wide Guard. And I get rid of him. Or I could Terrasalize, but I kind of want to save my Terra. That's my thing. I kind of want to save my Terra. So you know what? I'm going to Wide Guard. I am going to predict the EQ coming in here, right? It's got to be an EQ. It has got to be an EQ. So I was going to Terrasalize just to block the EQ, but... I think Wide Guard's my play all day. I think this is just an easy read. So we end up Wide Garden. Tailwind in the EQ, probably, correct? There's a Tailwind. Show me the EQ. You gotta be rocking EQ. Or even Rock Slide works. EQ, perfect. Great read from Jeans' end. Now we can Earth Power. We can get rid of Garchomp. Um, hmm. And then from here, we're sitting in kind of a tough spot, right? We are kind of sitting in a tough spot here. Because this, this will kind of be a problem. So now we're sitting in a tough spot. And the reason I say that is because Murkrow can just foul play and outspeed my arm rouge. And if they have a Pokemon that comes in the back end that can just take out my Sandy Shocks, we will gain no turns from this. But I would love to get off one more turn with Sandy Shocks here. Because I can take out Murkrow with Thunderbolt. I'm really curious to see who this Pokemon is. And it is going to be Fluttermane. Oh. Mm -hmm. Fluttermane's a problem. It is a problem. Hmm. I don't think we wide guard here. I really don't think we wide guard. I think we double down into... To you? Yeah. 
I'm gonna Thunderbolt in this slot. This is tough. This is tough. Um, do we Terra Grass? Would Terra Grass be to play? No. I don't think so. I think we stay Ground Electric. I don't really think Grass, we're gonna get a lot of value out of Grass. I'm gonna save my Terra for my, uh, Palafin if need be. So Shadow Ball ends up coming out there. Oh my god, you did that? You just did that? This might be good for us. This might be good for us. I thought Fluttermane would go after Sandy Shocks. I thought it would be the opposite way. I thought it would be opposite. You might have just gave us the win, right? Because Foul Play... Oh, you are sashed, you son of a biscuit. Okay, you are sashed. Uh, hmm. We got Pally here. We do have Pally, which is really good. We do have Pally. I think a Gleam might come out here. Uh, hmm. This match is coming way too close. Way too close. I could get rid of Murkrow. But would that really do anything? I think I have to do as much damage as I can on the Fluttermane. I'm going to double down on Fluttermane. Actually, wait a minute. I still have Terra. I go straight water. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to Jet Punch you down. And I'm going to double... I don't want to double down on Fluttermane. Do I want to double down? I. How many turns left in Tailwind? That's the real question. Let's check it. Two. Mm. Hurts soul. So yeah, we're going to Terrasize, we're going to go for a Jet Punch, and I'm going to double down and, and no. Are we? Yeah, we're going to double down to Fluttermane. No way Fluttermane protects here. So our Terrasize comes out of here. This is such a good match. This is a really good match, even though I feel like we're going to lose this one. But they gave us a shot here by going after the Sandy Shocks with the Foul Play. Because Foul Play would have killed, killed my armors all day. We'll see how this one plays here. He ends up quashing me. Does that take away my Jet Punch? Can that take away my Jet Punch? It does, yo. What a play. What a play. Can we soak that? We do not. Wow, yo. Quash Murkrow. Really saving the day there. That's big time for him. That is big time for him. But now Thunderbolt flies through. We get rid of you. Oh, no. We went after Fluttermane there. That hurts. That hurts. What is your... Hmm. What is your speed at? Do we have a shot? I don't think we have a shot here. There's another Thunderbolt one in KO. Hmm, you are booster energy. That did boost speed. I mean, we might as well go for... Oh, no, not run. We might as well protect and try to make something happen here, right? Waste out the tail. But then he just pops tail one again. Yeah, there's no point. <laughs> there's no point. But wow, what a play at the end there to quash my boy. Ends up going for a sunny day. A little bit of sunny day action. Gonna get the protosynthesis popping. That is actually just going to match the speed, which is a very smart call. Or special attacks going to boost it, yep. And Shadow Ball is going to get blocked. But again, now we just Tailwinds and he finishes me off. It's game, set, match. What a first match to get things started here. We end up losing it. You guys know. I'll grab you guys a victory in match number two. So let's get after it. Second battle on its way. That first battle was so good. I wish we were able to come out on top, but we were not able to. We're hopping into our second match, going up against another Annihilate. But more importantly, they've got a Shen Pao and Dragapult team. Not Dragon Pole, Dragon Knight. So, Ndidi could be really, really good. So, I'm thinking of just leading Ndidi and Halucha. I think that could be a really good lead for us. And then we can bring Arm Rouge in the back end. And then, last but not least, either Shen Pao or Shandy Shocks. And I'm kind of leaning towards Shen Pao. Oh, they have Mouse Hold. Mouse Hold's a little scary. We do not like Mouse Hold, but I'm cool with that. Do I go Arm Rouge instead? Do I go Arm Rouge instead? Arm Rouge could be really good for us. I mean, we do have Acrobatics, which is good. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna go Shen Pao in the back end. I like it. I like the lead. Armouge could be a very good lead, but it could definitely come in the back end and clutch up for us. We have no first turn priority moves with this Shen Pao, so Psychic Surge is gonna be our best friend. It's gonna be our best friend. But one thing that we really have to watch out for is going to be Ice Spinner. Ooh, I did not think of that. I didn't even think of the Ice Spinner on the Shen Pao. So they can still lead Shen Pao and get after me with an Ice Spinner. Definitely a possibility. It is. It is definitely a possibility. So maybe, like, we could lead Ndidi, hard swap Ndidi into, like, Armors or something. Or Shen Pao, and then hard swap Ndidi back in to try to keep the the Surge going. Because the Surge is going to be huge. They actually have three Pokemon that have or learn Ice Spin. The Tusk, Dragonite, and Shen Pao. That's a, that's a lot. That half the team having Ice Spinner and being able to take out Terrain. That's a tough, that's a tough customer right there. But we'll see. Maybe they don't bring them. Maybe, maybe not. At least one of the Pokemon are going to be here. But maybe great. Sometimes Great Tusk doesn't roll out with Ice Spinner. Same thing with Dragonite. So we'll see. He's going to go Mouse Hold and Shen Pao. 
So I'm guessing he's trying to take out my ice spinner. That's cool by me. Um, I think from here we just go into a hard swap on Ndidi. And maybe just Terrasilize or Halucha, which could be a good call. But I think it's a flying terror type, which kind of sucks, right? It could do me dirty. It could do me dirty. Because I'm thinking of just swapping you. He's definitely going to go into an ice spinner. Maybe go into armors here. And then... Could Terrasilize you and... Ooh, I do like steel. I do like steel. And we do have flying press. Hmm. This move is fighting and flying simultaneously. That's so cool. That's definitely so cool. So I am going to Terrasilize you. And I'm just going to go after Shen Pao. Where do I go after Mouse Earth? No, we're going to go after Shen Pao. So I'm swapping my Ndidi because I know an Ice Spinner is coming in here. So I'm going to put out Armors in that slot. And then from there, if I want to swap... Uh, if I want to swap my boy back in, I could just swap Palucha, or I can keep uh, Lucha on the field. So we have a lot of different options here, but I really like this Terror type. A nice steel Terror type for Halucha. I think that's great for us. So we're going to Terrasilize turn one. Halucha getting after it. It's going to be a big win for us. We need this win. We need to, we need to win this match. So we end up doing that. Mouse will protect. So this is... I don't mind this turn. He's got to be going for an Ice Spinner, right? Flying Press comes out. You're probably Sash, right? You are definitely Sash. The Sash gonna come out here. And we'll see what they want to do from here. Ice Spinner into Halucha slot. So cool. They're gonna take out Terrain, and that's exactly why I hard swapped. And I think I might just keep my. I might just keep my. What's called out here? I think I'm just gonna go in Didi. I think I'm gonna bring back out the Terrain. Actually, we don't need a Terrain just yet. I could actually just keep my armors out here. But a dark move could do me dirty. So, you know what? I'm just going to protect you. And... Ch -ch -ch. I'm just going to flying press over here. Just in case he wants to go for another... Or like a follow me. So, I'm going to protect my armors. I think a dark move potentially comes out here up against armors. And a follow me does come out here. So, this is exactly why I stuck with the flying press. And we'll get after it this way. So, flying press can come out here. Probably KO you, right? Yep. See you later, mousehold. Mouse holds a goner. He's a goner. Shen Pao's looking a little scary. Probably going for a dark move. No, you stick with the ice spinner here. Thinking I'm going to hard slot back in. Just, I was going to, but I ended up not doing it. I ended up not doing it. So from here, from here, I think we hard swap now. I think we hard swap now. Iron bundle comes out. That's a little bit of a problem. Don't be booster energy. It is booster energy. That's a problem. That's a problem for me. How fast are you, Alucha, with that unburden? How fast are you, my man? Hmm. You're not gonna be faster than that booster energy, which is a problem. The big time problem. Um. I swap into Shen Pao. Ah, this is tough. This is tough. I think we just try to get air for this. I'm doubling down the Iron Bundle. I don't think he protects. He protects Shen Pao. We like that. We like that. Ends up protecting Shen Pao. -ski. I do outspeed, yo. Halucha! My man! I was not expecting that we outspeed that Iron Bundle. I did not read his booster energy, energy, so maybe it was special attack, but I, I was just guessing the speed like most. So that's a huge KO. Halucha is absolutely ripping in match number two. And we still have Ndidi to get that terrain. And now I think it's going to be the time where we swap into Ndidi. Right? Now it's got to be the time where we swap into Ndidi. And I think we just swapped the, what's it called? The armors. Because Halucha is going to be faster than these guys. And I can freely get rid of you. They still have Terra, which could be Ghost, so I'm going to go into a flying move instead. So, yeah, now we're going to swap into a DD. I'm going to say, hey, yo, no first turn priority moves. And they just cancel battle. So we get a sweep there in match number two, absolutely dominated by Halucha. What a second battle. Absolutely dominated in that match. We got Halucha out there. We swapped our Ndidi at the perfect time and was just playing mind games with our opponent. They really thought we were going to swap into Ndidi, but we just kept Halucha on the field, let him do his thing, and he absolutely ripped it up. But 
Third and final match coming out here. We're going to need the terrain again, right? We're going to need the terrain to stop first turn priority. But I think we're going to do this one a little bit differently here, right? Because first turn priority is a problem, but I can really benefit from it from my Palafin. Yeah, I do like that, but I don't know if I want to lead it again. I could lead. I could go Halucha again. I think getting Halucha that unburdened is just huge. So, you know, we're going to do that again. We are going to do that again. I am going to bring Shen Pao, and actually, I think we're just going to bring Sandy Shocks. I can get down with that. I can get down with that. So, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number three, because we're one and one right now. First match was awesome. It was definitely the best match between the two, but we lost that one. We lost it. So, I kind of want to grab ourselves a winning record here. We'll see who they want to lead. But this seems a lot of fun, yo. Getting some off meta action. Haven't used Sandy Shocks in a while. But Shen Pao and Mousehold. So same lead from last time. We're getting after it. We're going Halucha. We're going to terrestrialize it. We're going to rip into the Shen Pao. He's probably going for an Ice Spinner. And that's fine. If you want to go for Follow Me, you go for Follow Me. No big deal. And I'm going to swap Indeed again. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I, I'm going to need this terrain. This terrain's just big time for us. So yeah, we're gonna swap you first turn, and who are we going to? Shen Pao or Sandy Shocks? I can kind of get down with the Shocks. Cause I'd like to have that Focus Sash on Shen Pao later in the match. And then we're just gonna Terrasalize, go for a Flying Press. The only problem would be if they Terrasalize the Mousehold to go for Follow Me. But I think that uh, this will turn into Flying, right? It says it's Fighting or Flying type, or Fighting and Flying type, the move. So I guess it's a Fighting move that can hit Ghost Pokemon, but it'll turn into a Flying type. So that's actually really cool. I believe that's how it works. I believe that's how it works. But out comes our terrestrialization, straight steel. Like I said in the last match, a perfect terror type for Halucha in Series 3. Especially in the psychic terrain. It blocks or it's uh, not very effective onto Shen Pao's Ice Spinner, which we're probably going to see come into it. So we'll see what they want to do. Follow me ends up coming out here. We're going to dump on the mouse hold here. We're going to say see you later. And he's probably just going to Ice Spinner me down, right? I can definitely see that happening. So, mouse hold a goner, yo. Flying press does some work. <laughs> I just rip it into these guys. Ice spinner does come out here, so we're just pretty much doing the same thing that we did last match. Pretty much, right? So that swaps. I can now bring back out in DD if I want to. But I don't think I'm going to. I might just protect my... I might just protect my Sandy Shocks. To be honest with you. I think that's my play all day. Protect Sandy Shocks. Go into a flying press. I could sash you. Yeah, I'm going to sash the Sen Pao. I'm going to sash Sen Pao. Who's going to terrestrialize? This is probably Ghost, right? Or are you going for Scizor? No. You're going him with Ghost, I think. It is. Now we're going to see exactly what this move is all about. Because, like I said, I think it should hit Ghost type Pokemon. I think it should. So we end up protecting Sandy Shocks here. Flying press, it does not. That's weird. I gotta read the description again. Ice Spinner comes out here. We're blocking it. And what are you going for, Scissor? Go into my... Oh, you go for... Oh, oh. Hey. Hey, now. That ain't cool. That ain't cool. I'm gonna tell you right now. That ain't cool. Not at all. Not at all. So from here, I think Sandy Shocks actually can outspeed. I think we just double down to Shen Pao. But let me see this move. Look. This move is a fighting and flying type simultaneously. So why didn't it hit? Ah, it makes no sense. Why didn't it hit him then? It just makes no sense. But now I'm going to double down on the Shen Pao. I don't think he protects. Cool, he does not. And Acrobatics does some nice damage. I think Sandy Shocks can outspeed too. He does. Cool, Thunderbolt KOs the Shen Pao. Awesome. Dope. I'm all about it. So we get rid of Shen Pao. That's a big time KO for us. And we still have Indeedee in the back. And now they probably don't have any Ice Spinner Pokemon taking me out. This thing's gonna pounce. I was gonna say, you could probably eat that up. And now would be the time to swap into Indeedee. Because now I'm at the HP where it's like, I could die to this. And plus, Dragonite's gonna come out here. So Dragonite comes out here. Um, Yeah, we're just gonna take away first time priority. I'm gonna hope that he does not have Ice Spinner on him. And from here, I can just go into. Do I just go into Flying Press and this is where? Yeah, because I have Shen Pao in the back end. They don't have Terra, and again, another battle was canceled, and we get the sweep. Absolutely amazing. What a team, and what a combo. Halucha and Indeedee was OP in today's video. We legit did the same thing that we did in match number two, and just did it in match number three. We let the Halucha and Indeedee hard swap the Indeedee turn one, let Halucha go off, and we swept both matches, which is absolutely amazing. 
Match number one, we obviously lost for our two and one winning record, but still, match number one was probably the best battle all around. Like, our opponent played really good, we played really good, and it came down to the last turn. But hey, again, two and one winning record, you guys gotta love it. But guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread this positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.